Oh, that's it? All right, cool. Let's get it. All right, it's time for us to get it. Uh, all right, family. So I wanna, want y'all to excuse me for the infinite screens, the infinite screens. We are here on Giami Journey. We're about to have our conversation about character. We're still waiting for Brother Kwame to come up. I may have to make some adjustments so that we could get him on, which will which is not too, you know, won't be too hard. But we are up on our telegram and we're kicking it. And it looks like everything is going good. The resolution is good. I, you know, like I said, toast to the ancestors is a powerful thing because a lot of solutions come to me during that process. Um, let me go and make sure that Miss Tracy has the. Uh, okay, she got permission to speak. I don't know why our mic's still off, but you know, Miss Tracy could come on. But I was toasting the ancestors this morning, and the solution for me being able to stream on all these platforms at the same time came to me. And I actually could go and get rid of this, this, this infinite screen you know what i'm saying but you know what i'm saying i would need somebody else to come up so that they so that we could see their picture but i either way we're gonna have us an excellent show we're gonna have us an excellent show there go miss miss tracy she came up to save us from the infinite screen praise the lord how are you doing on this marvelous easter sunday Sunday of a resurrection. What happened? What you do? Mm-hmm. 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 That's the famous last words. Uh, 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 oh. Well, what's going on here? Maybe that's me. No, I can't stop sharing. If I stop sharing, um, it won't be able to be seen. Uh, so, you know. I don't know what that is. But I... I'm sharing it over the world. It's going all over the world right now. I got it. Don't worry about it. You ain't got to get all aggressive. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. I was sharing your screen. Now I'm sharing my screen. Sharing your screen. There we go. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. So I guess I got to do it like that. Have you on the side. Where you at? Oh, you... You touching something, man. What? All right, don't worry about it. It don't matter. But anyway, we up. We live. I'm not on the best camera. This is not the best camera. Actually, what is the best? Oh, the best camera is being used over here. Let me go on, turn on the best camera. Uh, remove from stream. Move me from the stream. All right. Um, let's see. But anyway, I'm confused right now. I'm confused, which I am usually. I'm trying to figure this out. So I got a solution for how to be able to stream. This is not my my highest quality camera, by the way. Um, this is the camera off of my device. So I'm running two cameras. Well, you on Telegram. I'm on Telegram. My machine is pumping all of this. My old machine is running all of this so that we can have this conversation. You know what I'm saying? But how 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 far is the lag? Because, you know, I want to get Kwame on here. I don't know what's going on. Now, I do have another way that I could bring Kwame in. But we will have to get off Telegram. And I will send you a link that y'all will have to get on and y'all come on and he won't have to worry about pushing the button. What you think about doing that? All right, cool. So we're going to get get off of Telegram. All right. Um, I'm still streaming, so we're going to get off of Telegram. Oh, there we go. I'm going to hang up. Oh. See, but that's not... Okay. All right. Now I know what's going on. I know what's going on now. I thought you was off. Oh, so now I'm sharing this screen over here, so I need to stop. Stop sharing screen. 
and I need to do settings. So I'm walking y'all, I'm kind of walking y'all through this. I'm learning this myself. You got the high definition live stream quality. I should be able to get higher than 720p, but anyway, video. OBS virtual camera. That's not working. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut off. I gotta cut this off. I thought I've been cut this off, but I guess I didn't. And we're gonna go to get the best camera. There we go. Turn on my camera, if it allow me. There we go. Camera's on. Make sure audio is right, because when you make a change with your machine, you got to make sure your audio and everything doesn't change as well. So now let me turn on my camera. All right, there we go. All right, so now I need to bring in Miss Tracy. Let me buy my guess. Ooh. Copy. All right, let me send this out. Oh, I sure can. Let me do this. I'm going to send it straight to. All right. So we're going to be talking about character. We're going to be talking about character. All right. So all my family got to do is push the link. So now. <clears throat> we was waiting for Brother Kwame, but the software or the the only thing about Telegram is that Telegram is not friendly to those who are impaired visually. So um, Telegram, uh, it was rough for Brother Kwame to get on. So I wanted to make sure that he understood. All right, there we go. We got Miss Tracy up. Miss Tracy is up. How you doing? Great. Why you popped up like you? Is you was you doing something? What's going on here? I can't see my screen, so I was trying to see what the you sent another okay. message. Right. Mm -hmm. All is the same message, and all Kwame got to do is click the link. So if you call him, we get on here and we can have our conversation about character family we talking about character <clears throat> and the importance of character in tribe building as well as in personal success and we're going to be coming from a video that was done by krs1 um and we're going to be we're going to be mixing it up so those of you that want to join the conversation i can make it possible i can make it possible for you to join the conversation Oh, I got the blunt talk stuff on the back. Why is the blunt talk? I don't want chat overlay. What's that? Oh, hell no. Nah. All right. Um, graphics. trying to get the thing there we go all right brother Kwame still has not responded we're trying to get him together come on in brother Kwame brother hot Tim the brother Kwame come in over oh there you go brother Kwame is in yes. the house all right. all right so we got an echo we got a horrible no echo. It, was, it was me okay cool so now we are having a discussion. Can we hear you coming? We are having a discussion mm -hmm. today about character. Um, there was a speech made by Brother uh, KRS One. What's that in the background? That ain't. Studio. Studio. 
So first off, I need to let everybody know. I don't know. Can you hear this, Miss Tracy? Hear what? So you ain't hear the thunder? No. Hmm. Okay. So my sound effects is no good on this. Damn. So I got to share a screen or something. That's messed up. But anyway, I ain't got my sound effects, family. I want to welcome you to the Congregation of the Mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host, Brother Hot Tim. I am joined by Miss Tracy. I'm also joined by the Black, the Black Yoda, Brother Kwame Kichler. And we are here to have a discussion on this Resurrection Day, on this Easter Day, about character. Um, of course, you know, this is a Heart of a Simple production. Where we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. I don't have an ex... I, I need my explosions. Brother Kwame, I need my... I can't do it, brother. But anyway, so, anybody want to join the conversation? Oh, somebody listening to this in the background. Y'all got to turn that off. Because the music coming through too loud. So anybody want to join the conversation, by all means, feel free um, to join us. You can go and post up your comments. And, and if it's strong enough, I can go and send you a link and get you on up in here so that you can join the conversation with us. Or I can just open up the black line. I was trying to do everything on the uh oh. Matter of fact, I'm going to open up. How it works. Button. Done. Button. Button, forward, dim, button, Hold on, I know what I'm doing. Forward, 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 Put it up on Telegram as well as put um, download the audio so that we can go and put this up on. Is that Marilyn Monroe beside you behind you? Yeah, that's I was at the uh, hookah shop. Yeah, um. years ago. You know what? You got something to get Marilyn? No, I don't. All right, so now um, is everybody ready? Kwame signal is kind of weak, and he fell off. So it's just me and you, Miss Tracy. So you know, it was your suggestion to talk about this this video. Now, for those that don't know, let me see. I'm gonna get the video, and I'm going to share the link for everybody. Let me go. Kwame's trying to get back in. Let me get Kwame back in real quick. I'm gonna share the link. Ooh, I took Miss Tracy off. Um, there go Kwame right there. I'm still me, here. Um, no, I took, I, I, you You wouldn't know that I took you off. I am going to share the link for the video. So I still got it refreshed. I didn't, although I ain't listened to it since Nia. Um, it's an excellent video. And, and he's making some excellent points about character. Now, because do we want to talk about the things we agree on first? Or do we want to talk about the things we disagree on? Um, disagree with on. Because I could, uh, you know, because I could go either way. Because there's some stuff in there. Because he makes some excellent points. But there's other stuff in there that I'm, oh God. That I'm looking at. And I'm like, uh, uh, not really. I'm not really feeling you. Especially after reading Kwame's, um, because for those that don't know, those that, uh, have access to, to the uh, newsletter. Speaking of, um, those of you that want to, hold on, how do I get the, I just want the link. I'm gonna have to open it, so excuse me for one second, family. Can y'all hear that? I hear some faint music in the background, that's all I hear. Okay, cool. That's cool. Cause I could share the video and we could watch a little bit of it um, if we wanted to. Um, if we wanted to, that's just if we wanted to. 
right? Uh, hmm. Okay, cool. Cause I'm learning a lot of stuff right now. This is dope, man. Family, this is this is literally dope. But anyway, I'm gonna stop. Cause I'm I'm up here playing with stuff. So I am pinning the in the chat. I'm pinning up the YouTube video that we're coming from. It is called Chaos One: A Discussion on Character. So, and I think it's a, a such an appropriate discussion for us to have today, um, especially because like we're moving out of the Mojo Week of the of this seven week. This is the third seven week cycle that we are in for this year, right? So now we're moving into Kuji Chagalia. And I think it's a nice wrap up on the, the principle of Emoja to talk about character. So, um, and also if I need to, I could pull up Kwame's piece on it. I could pull up something that I just wrote for this as far as character to go on and start the discussion. Unless somebody has something that they want to jump in with. I'm gonna start off because I feel like we're not starting anything yet. So when I first, um, when, the, when the video first got jumped into my lap, I was like, oh man, this is way too long. Once I got into it, I'm like, where's the part two? So um, it was definitely <laughs> an eye opener. Um, one thing he started out saying was, um, what's your character? He said he could size up your character by your words and the things that you're attracted to. But another thing is you can size up somebody's character by how they do things. Um, and this is my opinion. So, is that? That's, that might be you. I don't know what it could be though. All right, hold on. Let me check your mic. Uh, go ahead, say something, Miss Tracy. Is it my mic? Uh, I have no idea. I'm looking. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, Cause I anyway. have a real mic if this was a problem. You have a who? A real mic. A real mic. Yeah. Well, why the hell you ain't on the real mic? We doing real things. We got to be on My real time. My position was dying, so I had to relocate. So anyway, how you do anything is how you do everything. So uh. if you watch. A person, you know, or I, I don't want to say watch like you're a stalker, but if you pay attention to people, you'll learn a lot about them. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that, ooh, that's Brother Kwame. Kwame, something going on with your mic. And we can't hear you because you just said something and we didn't hear you. Oh, he was cussing. <laughs> That's what that was. He was cussing. So I muted him until, hold on. He got, oh, hold on. I know the, he got two goddamn things open. All right, Kwame, you got, no, that's Miss Tracy, my fault. All right, but you know, we still working on it. We're going to get, so I'm putting them on mute until we figure out what's going on. Okay, so you you know, so you get to, especially if you're around people, you get to learn more about their character and how they do things. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. Um, I like how he talked about, you know, the abilities or things that we used to do. When I say we, I'm talking about our ancestors. Things that they, that we used to do that is now classified as um against our cultural principles or something of the sort um mm. so those were the uh, and i've heard that before it was um and it really when i heard it before it started opening me up to things because it's some things that you would immediately like i i had um corn libations was a challenge for me in the beginning because 
the way that I grew up was like, you know, no, you don't, you don't do that. However, the reality is if you stop saying, what is it? What's the uh, proverb? Person dies twice, uh, once at their death. And then again, when the last person says their name. And we already come from a culture that we have such a lost history. It makes no sense to continue, once you know better, you do better, to continue losing our history, continue losing our family, um, our culture was built on family just from the beginning of time in my opinion. Right, right. So, right. so that, you know, so that was one of the things that was one of the things that, you know, really alerted me to. All right. And then it's funny too, because me and my brother, we have a lot of, we grew up together and he is, um, he's the reader in the family. Uh, and, and he brings to the attention. I'm like, oh no, I don't know about that. But then we both agree on some things like, nah, we're going to open up things slowly. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> we're going to open up things slowly so we could be able to close it back up if we need to. So it having him and that understanding that we can um, have, have an understanding that, you know, just because we were raised this way doesn't mean that's the only way in life. And so him bringing that up about the abilities in the future, um, reading other people's minds and, you know, the healings and the things that we used to do back in the day that we no longer do anymore because it's, it can be classified as um, inappropriate or um, not of God, so to speak. So that was uh, one of the things that that, um, that came to my attention. Mm. Um. Yeah, so now let me ask you this. What was, you said it when you first opened it, and you know, because it was dropped on her lap. For those that don't know, uh, like I said, in Giami, like I said, it's constant. We constantly train. We constantly. I'm constantly looking for things to throw out to get us to thinking. And other people are doing the same thing. So I, I'm, I throw things out, right? It's like you know, it's like homework. So when you, because I remember the conversation. You're like, man, it's so long. I said, give it a chance. Give it a chance, right? Because like, because like, I have some. Amos Wilson stuff that I think we need to go through. That's going to be once you once you get on that. Listen, I mean you, the the uh, the amount of time that you spend doing it because, like I said, I use uh, what in what way did you force yourself? How did you how did you start your listening journey? Um, listening to it on my way to work, on my way to work, on my way from work, um, in the house. You know, just. Once, once it got my attention, it was like trying to listen to it every chance I got. So I was actually listening to it on, on my on my breaks that I was getting at school. So the start of it was listening on my drive to work, listening on my drive home from work. And then from there, that start, you know, building things up. But then I wanted to like listen to it where I could take notes. So it was, you know, the, the catcher was, you know, driving. But then once I was able to kind of take notes, then I felt like more fulfilled or understanding than what he was talking about. Mm. Mm. I feel you. I feel you. Now, so what I'm going to do is so that Kwame will be able to join us because he's having some serious difficulties. I just opened up the black line, my brother. I'm about to go on and, and share the black line screen on here. I want to I need to find that particular one. Um, I got share audio tab, dial pad. Want to share? There we go. Um, so you should be able to come on and, and be part of the station. Where is it at? There you go, right there. Let me turn the mic on. Mic is on. Check one, two, check one, two. So I got you up. So come on, come on in. You can hang this up. And come on over to the unless you got this, yeah, because it's still echoing, echoing. So I'm gonna go and hang that up. Black line, Kwame. So he could come in and he could join the conversation. So you started listening to it on breaks and stuff like that. Now, for a lot of the those out there, when you start 
the journey that we're making. It's going to require a constant study. And what you're going to start finding out is that you're not going to have as much time to sit down and open up a book and read. So we have to learn in multiple fashions on the journey. We have to be willing to get out here and, and put in the work. Um, I mean, you know, because like I said, a lot of stuff, since I travel a lot, I have to pick up a book or listen in on Next a book. Call, maybe read or transcribed. <clears throat> now, Miss Tracy, can you hear him? Yes, I can. I guess you can hear me okay now. Yeah, we yes, can hear you yes. good now. We good. <laughs> and, and we can see you. <clears throat> Ain't that something? So, hey, what's crazy cool. is we start moving away from the black line. The black line start improving. What kind of shit is that? But go ahead, brother. <laughs> no, I mean, the black line's always worked for me. It's just uh, I, I'm there's something just really incompatible about my mic and this telegram app because uh miss tracy said she saw my um button was unmuted but i still couldn't be heard so the only time it actually works for me is if i initiate a call to somebody or a video call to somebody but if we try to do you know like we're doing then you have to go on. okay so where are we at you have to where go into at? settings Cause... right now we are where miss tracy was struggling with the fact that she um that that it was so long and i was just talking about I'm, how... yeah, I'm past that I, but you know uh, but you're not the only one we have a whole tribe of people that will look at something like uh, a two-hour lecture be like that's too damn long my aunt just sent me something that said an hour and 15 minutes. I said, oh, I got to get to this meeting. I'm just saying, because like I said, uh, uh, for a real lecture, shit, uh, two hours, <laughs> shit, that ain't, you You. You almost <laughs> made it to intermission on some real shit. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You almost made it to intermission. <laughs> You know, yeah, man, this is this is new school type stuff here. <laughs> so let's be clear. So you know, so um, and and the piece that I want to talk about is now. Let's bring up because what I ask first is, do we want to deal? I guess since y'all can't hear the rain, I could cur turn it off. Can anybody? Now, I heard your question, but I think we should just, you know, basically do like Sister Tracy started out doing, and that is pick something that interest you express you know what your thoughts were on it ask questions about it of each other you know or you know um shoot just let it flow don't you know don't uh, try to encapsulate right, cool. it or, or bifurcate it or compartmentalize it just you know let the conversation go where it takes us i'm just <clears throat> i'm just trying to be a good host y'all in giami land even though y'all giami <laughs> members but I'm um, so cool. Now, let me just go. The thing that hit me the most was when he said, I'm giving up the game on the initiation temp the, the initiation process into the temple. And I could really relate. That's what started grabbing me. Because I let you know, I, I always try to listen to KRS One. It's cause it's it's sparse and far in between. Like it's like the last lecture he did was like two years ago. Matter of fact, he mm -hmm. on right now because you got to be on the Temple of Hip Hop piece to get it. And I also have the uh, the scriptures from the Temple of Hip Hop, and I've been I've been vibing with KRS One since the late eighties. You understand what I'm saying? And That's I like the direction he time. went. Oh, a very long time. I stopped eating pork, not because of Islam. But because of KRS One, I stopped eating beef because of KRS One, right? I started, you know what I'm saying? I started really getting into the whole spiritual piece and start moving away just from the historical piece because of KRS One's lyrics. So whenever mm -hmm. I have an opportunity to share, see, because one of the things that KRS One did was when he entered the conversation with I am hip hop. I was one of those that wasn't offended because mm -hmm. I'm hip hop too. You understand? Right. I understand. I re hell, I remember you saying it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I understand mm -hmm. what you're saying because I come from, because because out of hip hop, even the whole God concept that we rock with in Giame, that shit came out of hip hop. Giame 
is rooted in hip hop and, and, and the courage to express a lot of the ideas that I express in GMA is through my experience with hip hop. So we, not only am I hip hop, we're hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but when he talked about giving up the secrets of the temple and it was something so simple, but something we have been doing for a very long time made a whole lot of sense to me. You know what I'm saying? And for those that don't know, if you go back, because I want you to listen to it, I don't want to ruin it for you, but the basic initiation is know thyself. Know and thyself. the way that you work with that statement. And it just don't have to be that statement. Right? So yeah. we could go through that exercise too. right now. Miss Tracy, I'm sorry. You was you was trying to say something. Y'all got y'all y'all better cut me off because I get excited about this shit. <laughs> of course. So uh, no the no the no thyself piece. That is that's Tracy, were you saying something? Oh, you can't hear her? You can't hear me, Kwame? Uh uh. What? All right. All right. And we, and we thought we made it. No, Come we on. did make it because I do know how to do this. If you want to wait a second, wait a second. Hold up, hold up. Let me try. Let me try something. Okay, go ahead. Okay, can you hear me now? <clears throat> no. Nope. No. Can you hear All me? Right. Him? I can hear you now, but this is what I'm on challenge. This, this is this is the challenge now. Because I know exactly how to get it so that it works. Are okay. you ready for this? Yep. Hang you up. Ready? Hang up and call into the black line. Because Kwame is on the black line. And if you can hear him, that means that everybody can hear him. You understand what I'm saying? Which means that if you get on the black line, I could keep streaming from here. And both of y'all be able to hear each other. Because what's going on is we have a computer system that is, um, huh, hold on, hold on. Oh, damn, she moved fast. <laughs> I'm still here. Hold on. I mean, can, can, can you give me a second, please? I'm, I'm like, damn, she. Man. I'm here. You can't hear me? Yeah. Don't say that too loud. She take that very personal. But hold on. So uh somehow I lost. You still there, Kwame? All right, let me go back to sharing screen because I uh because I think I might I might I might have another solution for that too as well, Miss Tracy. Hold on. Let me share screen. Window. I have to log right. off here all together. No, no, don't log off yet. Don't log off yet. All right, so now, say something, Miss Tracy. Something, Miss Tracy. Can you hear it now, Kwame? Kwame, can you hear me? All right, we're gonna get off and come on over to, uh, come on over to uh, the Black Line, yeah. Say something. Uh, the black line, yeah. Say something. Uh, the black line, yeah. Say something. Uh, the black line, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing if y'all, y'all could be heard by the people. Check one, check two, say something. Yeah, I'm 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 seeing if y'all y'all can be heard by the people. Check one, check two, say something. Yeah, I'm 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 seeing if y'all y'all can be heard by the people. Check one, check two, say something. Yeah, I'm 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 seeing if y'all y'all can be heard by the people. 
I'm on a crazy loop now. Hold on, share screen. I'm on a crazy loop now. Hold on, share screen. <laughs> All right. I'm on a crazy loop now. Hold Let's try it now. My mic sounds nice. Check right. one. Let's try it now. My mic sounds nice. Check one. All right. Uh, go ahead, Miss Tracy. Say something. All right. Uh, go ahead, Miss Tracy. Say something. It's a loop that's out this world. Is that coming through? It's a loop that's out this world. I'm waiting for Miss Tracy to get on. I think once we start talking, I think it might stop. If not, it's a loop that's out this world. Oh, I'm I know what it is. Tracy get on. I think once we start talking, I think. I, now I think I solved it. So where Miss Tracy at? Here she go. There she is. It didn't ask me for my name, so my name is not correct on here. What you mean it's not correct? It's supposed to be Miss Tracy. You got that's El Shaba Elevates. That's your business name, is it not? Elisheva. Oh, now she want. Oh, now she want to get fly. Okay, <laughs> I got it. Use a profile. You want me to change it? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll leave it like it is. All right, cool. All right, let's do that. So now let's get back. Where, where, where was we before we fell off into the deep hole? Um, <laughs> make sure it's recorded just in case I miss. So now, um, I, anybody I remember where we were? I, was, I did. I wanted to say something about the um, know thyself. Uh huh. Um, he brought up the words you choose is the life you will live. And the examples that he brought up kind of mess with my mind a little bit, but he brought up, mm, I don't want to use the wrong, wrong name, but was it Slick Rick? You might stop, if not. Yeah, Slick Rick was wrong. I don't know what it is. So he brought up Slick Rick and then he brought up Chrono Minds for himself and just, um, and how yeah, Slick so Rick's the lyrics actually played out in his it didn't ask me for my name so I'm like... all right what did we miss sister tracy was just speaking on the words you choose is the life you will live and one of the he brought up um slick rick and he also brought up criminal minds no criminal and minded criminal dang minded. she young she young <laughs> Criminal minded. So one of the things he brought with um, Slick Rick was lyrics that Slick Rick actually made played out in his, in his life specifically. And it just reminds me of my own workshop where um, we spoke on the power of I am. When you say I am, what you say after those words become you. And so that is something that I that I really encourage my students to be careful and mindful of what they say when they say I am. Mm. And and that is something that's something that I do anyway with the with the term I am. Um and he said, um he said, I am who I say I am to create my reality to stay free. So that is what he does so that he can create his own reality instead of living somebody else's truth, maybe in my opinion, about about him. And I say it like that because I also was a part of a workshop where we we paid attention to the word um, 
you're stupid versus you're acting stupid. I guess that's not a good example. Right, but, right. That is know, a good example. Like, that, that's a good example. That's a great example. Mm-hmm. Attacking, attacking the person, attacking the being, yes. and not their actions. And that's so right. sometimes we, uh, we as adults, definitely, um, but also as like an older sibling, it's something I thought about too. Careful in, in what we say about someone. Again, this is still talking about character. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So uh, when we when we define or become or build our character, it's important to us. It's important for us to be the author of that character and not to allow other people's influence to define ourselves. That's what I got from that piece. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, and that's, that that was a nice that was a nice piece to get. You understand? Mm-hmm. And that's nice to share because your your life. Say that again. Your life. What? The words you choose is the life you will live. Mm. Go ahead, Kwame. I'm going to shut up for a second. I'm out of uniform. No, I mean, uh, one of the, uh, again, you know, <laughs> a lot of my talk around words, things like that, it, it's coming from my study of the Medu Nature. So, you know, we talk about that idea of I am. And, you know, he expressed the idea um i am that i am well at least that expression was first used in kemet is now i can't say it was first used in kemet but the but the expression that comes to to us through kemet was enek pu enek i am that i am and if i were to express myself to say that I am a brother. There's a whole nother kind of expression um, that comes into play. They say it this way. They say, I am as your brother. And that means that me and Hatem, I could say that to him, I am as your brother. If I, if I were speaking to my blood brother, <clears throat> um, I can use that same expression or to emphasize the point that he and I came from a a similar or a common common ancestor to both of our knowledge. I would use another expression. I'd say uh, a neck and then your brother or your brother. And so this whole idea of how we express I am, <clears throat> you know, in English, it takes on a whole nother kind of conceptualization <clears throat> when you're trying to do it in the Medu Nature for one, but in a lot of ancient languages for the other. Mm. And that's one of the limitations of English, because if you say I am a father, that the idea, I mean, he spoke briefly to part of the discussion about metaphysics and existence and being. Well, if the only thing you're being is a father, that would suggest that you could be nothing else. So in other words, when I speak of Sister Tracy, I speak to her, uh, I speak of her as my sister. I speak to her as a mother. I speak to her as a daughter. I speak to her as, you know, all these different things that she's associated with doing. But I don't say that's what she is. And in English, of course, when I say I'm a mathematician, then it basically boils down to <laughs> That's about the only damn thing I could do. So there's a there's an interesting take on some of the linguistics that comes into play in in terms of some of the expressions that we use, um, and particularly that we borrow um, to express ourselves. Mm. Mm. So so one of the things, because like one of the things that 
I really loved about the whole hip hop piece, because you know, because Karis won't bring all that stuff up for me, is the audacity of those of us in hip hop that feel that we could create our own everything, our own language. Because one of the things that you're bringing up, we had limits in what we can express. So we had to come up with different words to, to kind of describe the feelings that we had. So for a long time, a lot of people didn't understand that bad meant good until somebody told them in a rap. But all over the country, black folks had an understanding of this because it was coming from a cultural context. And what we have to understand is that we're trying to understand and see a world from a cultural context that is not our own. Now, those of you who have got the got our e-newsletter, I spoke about this coming out of um, Umoja. The whole week I was talking about, the. how can I put it? Our cultural context has been hijacked and it is under someone else's control so that everything we do benefits them. Our energy, mm -hmm. Our spirit, our minds are being guided and directed into a cultural context that is not ours and is being used to destroy us. As a matter of fact, our destruction fuels it. And a lot of us don't, we we it's kind of hard for us to 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 think about this. It's kind of it because it's like we're we're caught up on such basic survival things that we can't see that. That's right that we are being used against ourselves to destroy ourselves. So we're looking at the world through a cultural context. And what I loved about hip hop was hip hop said to me, it's okay, it's okay to create. Something is not right. And, and, and although it wasn't words being spoke to me, I could look at the reality. Like for example, I remember, and you know, I felt bad about this for years. My grandfather was the best man I know. So let me let me preface this with saying this. My grandfather was the best man I know, and I couldn't have had a better example of manhood. But one day, my grandfather approached me. I just turned 17 or 18. I was still living in his house. My mom was in Columbus. I had received this. I was I knew at that point in time I was going to Ohio State. I received a, a full academic scholarship to Ohio State. Um, I was on the football team. I was in no trouble whatsoever. I just like breakdance. No, actually, this was 10, this was somewhere around 10th or 11th grade. I take that back. I wasn't going to Ohio State yet. But I was out of trouble. I was breakdancing and I was rapping and stuff. And my grandfather approached me. And he said, you know... I, I I might buy you a car or help you get a car if you would stop spinning on your head and spitting with your mouth all the damn time. And I said, so what you saying? You want me to be like you? You want me to work and never have no time? You know what I'm saying? I said things like that. And, you know, as I got older, it hurt me because I wasn't trying to hurt him, but I was rebelling against the lifestyle that he was forced to have to live in order to support us. And hip hop mm -hmm. gave me an avenue to see that I didn't have to do that. You understand what I'm saying? So in a sense, it gave us the power to speak our own reality. It gave us a power to start creating our own reality, which some of us did. And some of us still are doing. I'm sorry. You can't let me go, man. I, I just... No, oh, she right. Yeah, look, the lessons are in the stories, man. So, <laughs> I mean, because that right there was you, you weren't. It wasn't a, an attack against him. But again, it wasn't. A, it wasn't. You weren't. You weren't rebelling against him. You were just rebelling against, you know, the life that was set up for him right. in that moment. Right. See, because because for me, even young. Because I remember one time I ran into my father years, you know, here in Columbus. He said, you still trying to get rich? Ever since they know me, I was young. I was trying to get rich. I wasn't trying to sell. I wasn't trying to do none of the legal shit. I just felt that I was opposed to be able to amass a large amount of wealth. And the thing that they used to ask me is, this is, is this, you still trying to do this? And I felt 
that I could create that reality. But everybody around me was not living that reality. Everybody around me thought that me even thinking about that reality was foolish. I needed to get in the factory or I needed to go to college to become an engineer so that I could get a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So, right, right. You know, and I just, you know, I just wanted to share that. I want, I wanted to share that because it, it's like I was, I was reaching to try to do what Miss Tracy said. I was trying to talk the life that I lived. So I was very careful, even when I was young, I was very careful in how I treated people. You know what I'm saying? I was very careful in mm -hmm. how, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that mm -hmm. lifestyle has delivered for me. A lot of people don't understand that lifestyle delivered for me, boy, oh boy, in big way, in a big way. But anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, shoot, that's what's up. <clears throat> that's another one of the points that he, he um, that KRS one made. He's like, you want to go? Um, is it? It's important to go for where, where I am now to another position. Um, how do you get past the environment um, of right now? How do you get past of where you are to get to where you want to be? You know, success is in, in the story that you create. Word. And I remember his answering answer being, you got to get out your own way. Mm. I just read that. You got to get out your own way. Your body is the only thing in your way. Get control, get control of the flesh. You got control of your life. Now, part of where I guess I don't disagree with his conclusion, <clears throat> but I guess I may have some argument about how he got there. Um, and that is this idea that there always seems this to be this sense of trying to cut the spirit as it is away from the body. Now, when he talks about the self, you know, uh, I was telling you how Tim the other day that, you know, for this, for that in our tribal quotes is referred to as the inner head the inner head <clears throat> which is now hold on that is a revolutionary idea homie i mean i don't even know if you know see that see that's why we got to study our culture family because now i'm, I'm just saying i'm gonna leave it up go ahead go ahead because that was dope but go ahead no <clears throat> but yeah so you know what we're talking about is the inner head however when we describe ourselves as human beings, it seemed that he was taking some exception to that. And I was saying that as a human being, I would say that most of us don't know how to be. And so we experience a great deal of difficulty in this idea of being because were we to know how to be a lot of those things that we refer to as emo emotional turmoils um uh you know different things like that that's not necessarily going to move us right and even when we get well basically uh, to, to summarize it the conditions around us will not will not will only hinder us to the degree that the natural laws of the universe permit them because i did take a little exception to his notion of natural supernatural you know to me the natural the ignorant think is uh basically uh difficult for the for what they call the supernatural the ignorant think is impossible so it's only you are only limited by what you know and if you perceive something as natural because you can see it then i'm sorry you're wrong mm. can you go a little bit more in depth on that one please you say if you could if you consider something if you, go ahead if you perceive only what you see to be natural you're wrong that which you can't see is also of nature and mm. natural. Mm. Now, I'll just shut up after this quote. 
in one of the books of uh, the Medinature that I've been having to translate, it's the transformations of Ra. The first line, or let me think, not the first line, but about the third line, it goes, I came into being as the transformative process of existence. I am evolving as manifestations of the initial form. Now understand this. I came into being as a transformative process. Well, if I'm a process, then that means I, al I always was. <laughs> <laughs> and then it finishes off by saying I am evolving as manifestations of this initial form it's saying that everything that comes into being is an aspect of that initial that initial form which means that if what you thought you could not perceive or what you could not see was supernatural. It's saying you're wrong. That's all a part of the natural order of the universe. What we in our tribal coast refer to as the tribal, or, or excuse me, the, the cosmic order or the cosmic law. Mm. And see, and cause like, cause you know, cause like I said, I kind of take exception with the with with the notion that once again because you already kind of spoke on this but in in Gianni, i try to make sure people know that the physical or the body is as important as the spirit they all work together to formulate who we are you understand what i'm saying and, and a lot of times people move towards trying to push one of them down and elevate the other not realizing that they are not bringing it into what the universe or what we call that balance because the body is the tool in which the spirit experiences the world so you have to that's take right. care of the body like you take care that's of the right. spirit you have to take that's care right. of the emotions because the emotions keep you moving you got to be clear of mind and you have to be plugged into your intuition this is what we call the five parts of being in Giamme and learning how to align these and respect all of them because they're all important you know what I'm saying? It's only when we come to the Western world where they start dissecting and, and separating all these things. And that becomes problematic. So even in, because he kind of spoke about that in his lecture, but even when you hear him talk about the natural and the supernatural, he kind of yes. still is wrestling with yes. that concept of, yes. of oneness. Yeah. That emoji that I talk about. See, because I, all last week, family, you got to get, if you don't got the... All last week, I talked about the illusion of disunity. I want y'all to, I want y'all to really listen to that. I talked about the whole last week, the illusion of disunity, and in a sense, what we're talking about now fits into it because it's the the separation of the spirit, mind, and body is an illusion. Just like the 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 idea that there's disunity. That's all there is in our community is a damn illusion. And we yep. play into these illusions, and in playing to these illusions, we lose. I'm just saying. But um, anyway, I'm sorry. Miss Tracy, where you at? Woman? Come on, come on, girl. I guess one I, I I'm sorry, this is taken away from what we're talking about, but not really. that remind me of this back on water. The teacher told me to try. Like, hey, did you try this water hint? And so I tasted the water hint. The water is an illusion. That it tastes like something. <laughs> yep. No, and, and you say that's taken away, but it's adding too because one, we're giving people a, a actual physical thing where they can experience what we're talking about on a mental and a spiritual level. Yeah, you understand what that I'm saying? That's my thought of that water. Sister, Have Tracy, had water that, Sister Tracy, that's why it's called hit. Oh, my <laughs> Got a hand of it. I always go back to Duolingo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sure I'm really selling you the idea of learning a language. <laughs> I, was, I 
was upset. Like, this is, I mean, I don't know. It's made me mad. Like, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> So, you know, uh, I mean, but family is, uh, but now the, the exercise that he gave, what did y'all think about the initiation process that he did on stage in like five minutes? Cause y'all do know that was an initiation. Well, again, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, well, let me not say of course, but yes. But uh, no, I, I thought it was. Inter- course, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. What? I thought it was. In- I thought it was interesting that he referred to as <laughs> the the quote unquote newbie as a neophyte. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but again, because of course those are all uh, coming out of another cultural tradition. Right. But- <laughs> right. <clears throat> yeah. So, but what, what was the initiation? What? Okay. Take her through it. I can. All right. Cool. He says. First off, you walk up to the temple and you will see written across the wall words. You might understand them, you might not. And they says, know thyself. Right. Now, if you read know thyself, you'd be like, of course. And you keep on walking. You have eliminated yourself from the initiation process. You are not, you, you your glass is too full. You can't, you can't deal with that. Your character does not match theirs. But if you was to come and you was to ask the question. Right. I remember. What does that mean? Right? What does that mean? I remember. Know thyself. And they say, go away and come back in seven years. First off, the first part of initiation is surviving the seven years of being able to come back. The next step, according to him, was that you would say, all right. You've been waiting. I'm going to teach you what that means. Look at it again. Say it for me. Know thyself. Now, this time, I want you to say it, but I don't want you to say it with your mouth. Everybody yes. out there with me, say it. Yes. Now, the question I have for you, Miss Tracy, and those of you that's listening, who said the statement that I just asked you to say? And then after you figure out who said it, let me know who heard it. And is that who that I'm talking about the same as you, or is it something different? Then he went into spending more time with that part of yourself that is able to speak without words, that's able to hear without ears. And is that self Is that self more powerful or weaker than the actual physical you? And he says, start learning to spend more time with that you rather than just the you that we act upon. Now, we kind of talk about this in Giamme when you go to, um, um, we have uh, the very first, the very first audio that I I put together was called... um, what is the self Mm -hmm. and we talk about what is the self and we get into the character or what we call the personality and we got into the the what is the self piece is that that piece that you are supposed to be talking to and spending time with um brother i think this is brother joe he says know thyself and you will know god i am that I am. We gonna post that up. And neck who and neck. Who said that? Brother Joe Barry. He's on our private chat on our Facebook. Okay, that's my cousin. Joe Barry is. Yes. I didn't know that. But um, yeah. So that's where we are. That's what we is right now. So that was the initiation, Miss Tracy. And it's just about being able to recognize the other you. Yeah. So, I mean, um, he, he went through it. I, I listened to something else that he did in that play too. But yes, I do remember, I do remember that. Just, you know, you can hear and see without the body. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, he went through three stages of initiation, but, but that first one was a, a really powerful piece. Very simple. 
something that people can work on. You don't need no teacher necessarily for that one. The only thing you need to have is the discipline to push through and work with it on a daily basis. Because and this, follow, sorry, go ahead. ahead but... Now I was just gonna say this because what I don't want people to fall into is the instant, the instant Nirvana, the instant Nirvana club. A lot of y'all are looking for instant spiritual answers when what it takes is constant and never ending improvements, constant and never ending learning, constants and never ending patience, constants and never ending. You, you, you understand? You know what I'm saying? You're constantly elevating. And a lot of y'all want to be part of that instant spirituality club, which, which does nothing but cause harm, I believe. But go ahead. No, um, so another aspect of that was you realize that, you know, um, you're hearing a voice or you're saying something, but your mouth isn't moving. You're hearing something, but you're not getting vibrations through your ears as such. Um, and, and of course, you know, that, that helps you to know the inner you on the one hand, but then how did he phrase it? Uh, out to him, he says that, uh, that inner you speaking is an expression of you when you speak out into the world that is a that is an expression of the universe of the of, yeah the universe speaking speaking through you you're speaking through you so you got an <laughs> inner voice that so you got an inner verse that it that you hear but you are an expression uh, and the words of the universe so be careful what you speak because it will manifest. And, and, a, and a lot of us, we got to really realize that we are cursing our own lives by some of the shit yes. that we are spewing. <laughs> yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? We need to be clear about that. Um. So, um, but go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I mean, it just reminded me real quickly of the second line uh, of that, uh, the transformations of Ra that I had to translate. Um, and it basically came out like this. Uh, the Nebuchadnezzar spoke words and he said, and then we got to that that point of Nebuchadnezzar. Well, what the heck is that? You know, um, and from the way it's normally translated by Egyptologists, they say the Lord of all but through a, a greater depth of study if you will it became as the keeper of all the maintainer of all um spoke words and it said and so uh that was just tying into what hatim was just saying about us being an expression of the universe <clears throat> because again the, that one line that I, the very next line is where he talks about you know, I came in, I came into being as the transformative existence of all that is. I am evolving as manifestations of that initial form. Mm. Mm. I am evolving as manifestations of the original form. Um, Brother Joe, I think it is. Yes, yeah, Brother Joe. He said, yes, I tell people that all the time, don't down yourself or others because the universe will grant it once it's in the air. No taking it back. You know what I'm saying? We could work we could work through it. <laughs> yeah, but that's where that's where Sister Tracy started off talking about uh Slick Rick and how he basically lived out the his lyrics. Yeah, his lyrics and um <clears throat> he mentioned Biggie. He mentioned right? Tupac, even though the information yep. he gave on Tupac because some of the information that he gave was questionable right yeah. right okay. let's see I, I thank you thank you for the term it was questionable you know what i'm saying so um you know because machiavelli you know what i'm saying according to my research for years people been talking about machiavelli faked his death i have no proof of that um i also um heard him say in there that kush and kemet are derogatory names 
And I, you know, I haven't run across that. If anybody out there got information on that, that's cool. But, you know, just because somebody may be off on one part does not mean that I cannot learn a lesson. That's right. From, you know what I'm saying? You That's eat right. them, you, you, you for, for, for meat eaters, you eat the meat and spit out the bone. You don't not eat meat because it got bones. And those of us that are that are vegetarians that might not eat meat, you don't you eat the, you eat the fruit and spit out the seeds. Come on now, come on now. So I you guess know, it's a pumpkin seed or a uh, oh, sesame yeah. seed or you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, you know. But there's some people that gr- no, but there's some people that grind on all seeds. Some of them got cyanide in them and it will kill you. But you Ooh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Either- <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we we get to speak our own and, and this is the piece that I keep trying to stress with people. This is why it's important to formulate tribes. If I speak my existence, what happens when I magnify it with a group of like-minded people? Mm-hmm. What y'all think about that? You know what I'm saying? What do you think the Republican Party is? What do you think the Democratic Party is? What do you think these other groups and these other people have formed? Mm-hmm. They have formed groups that warp reality. That's they warp they 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 as groups they warp reality and they are able to shape and form the reality around them so that they can get stuff done. Right. I mean, maybe no one really cares about this, but but it speaks to the point. And I'll preface it with this. This notion, and you've heard me say this, Hatem, morality is not necessarily a good thing. Mm. <laughs> Mm. morality will change from person to person that's why you need people in ethics to help uh what's the word to navigate through the various moralities or to mediate between the various moralities but um having said that uh where was i going with that um oh shoot um Ah, well, we'll catch it'll come on. back. It'll come back. Yeah. But you know, he mentioned that too. He said morality is not a divine thing; it's a man-made thing. And a lot of times, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, because like I was telling people, like you know, one of the things that I used to be plagued by with my culture was this whole concept of my eye, and how for a long time I was telling people, y'all kind of fucking up my eye. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all practicing my eye with people that don't practice my eye, which makes absolutely no sense to me. I, you know what I'm saying? I, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or, or I had to. I, I had a parent one time. I had to pull them outside because we was talking, <clears throat> and they told their child. And I want y'all to listen very closely. They told their child that as long as you honest, baby, you'll never get in trouble. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So Mm-mm. I had to pull the dope out the room and say, listen, you need to go and put some qualifiers on that shit, please. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You need right. You, you, you right. See, but no, but we, we're saying this like we're shocked. But our kids, our children go into situations thinking this shit. Brother, we have adults thinking this stuff in situations. Right. And wonder why we lose it. Oh, uh, uh, um, this is exactly bringing it adults. Um, so first of all, let's be clear. Every child, every child has had a, a temper tantrum. There's not a child in the world that has not had a temper, tra- temp- temper tantrum. And I could say that my children have had one in their life. So once they had the one, that was the last one. So that was handled right then and there. So we weren't having it in the middle of crossovers. We weren't having it in the middle of, you know, whatever. You know, so we weren't having these temper tantrums. 
So it made me, you know, think about that. Like, okay, so the, what about the child that does not get the temper tantrum checked or redirected? <laughs> Or, you know, the parent that does not nip that in the bud. What happens with that? Do that? Do those those children grow up to become adults and the temper tantrums dissolve? Or do we have adults with temper tantrums? We have adults with temper tantrums. We have adults with temper tantrums. Mm -hmm. And we come across them on more than one occasion. And what made me think of that was the adult of the temper tantrum that I came across. I couldn't help but think, your mama or your daddy should have got that together right in that second year, you know. But that's mm. what I thought of. No, but that thank you for that, Tracy, because that that takes me back to my point. How Tim was talking about warping reality. That's a perfect example of how a child warps reality. Things go their way. And they think that's how it works. Mm. Mm. Wait, I now, wear my explosion. That, Damn. Compare that with okay, compare that with what's the what's the woman's name? Jenny Thomas, Claire Thomas. All the stuff she was doing behind the scenes to to basically uh, uh, subvert the elections and everything. <laughs> This woman has, oh shoot. This woman has warped reality around her for so long that she can write senators, she can write, I mean, just behave in any kind of way and get a pass on it, basically. I yield. So I have students who who feel like they can act a certain way just because someone else acted this way. And that just goes into, um, you know, tell the truth and you won't get in trouble. Or um, because I do, I have children who are honest and we have, um, and, and I respect it to the point where uh, with my youngest son, he was in the third grade and a boy made a threat to him and he returned the threat in a more powerful way. And he explained to the, the teacher, act, uh, the teacher asked what happened. And she said to me, like, I believe that's exactly what happened. So for him to go to another school that, um, you know, it was a situation where the principal said, well, it's not a doubt that, you know, he's, he's not telling the truth so that in that in my in my favor as a parent you know said i'm blessed that you know i have a child that is honest unfortunately his behavior <laughs> doesn't <laughs> you know his behavior from those moments don't make it okay you know um you know in, in, in you know what the first one third grade was you know I, the third grade was the kind of a defense, but I don't think a little boy would have did anything. So like we don't take we don't take threats lightly. But the second one, you know, it was you know it was um, the little boy was actually bothering him, and because he didn't come and talk to anyone and and did or said what he you know how you know so the little boy was actually messing with him. But oh, he's in trouble because he just defended himself. He didn't come and you know act a way where he should have removed himself from the situation, come and tell somebody and all that kind of stuff. So, but because they both said he told the truth, that meant something to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I could, I believe his word for right now. I am, I have also, I'm a 26 year old, so I learned that you don't always just believe their word. Yeah, um, with respect to this idea of telling the truth, <clears throat> I used to struggle with that idea, um, this this notion of always being honest. Because at some point I grew up and I learned that some people aren't worthy of the truth. Mm. Mm. And and then, you know, to make something very clear, you know, if I know you intend harm on a loved one. 
you're not worthy of the truth. You may be able to torture it out of me or beat it out of me, however you may get it out of me, but you are not worthy of that truth. Mm. So wait a second. So listening to what you're saying, it almost sounds like it's not so much as it's not worthy of the truth versus you're not, you're still not telling the lie in, in the, in the, um, substitution in substitution. You're not lying. You're just not, but I, 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 I'm, I, not, I'm not going to mince words, right? If it takes time to give a family member or whatever, another day or two to get lost, that's what will happen. Got it. See, and, and I think with the fan, depending right. on that, um, depend, depending on the context, depending on the situation. And um, because I personally have these issues. I mean, it's, it's funny with the lying, it's, it's something about the lying, and I think that's different than what you're talking about. Because we're, in your case, you're talking about a protection of one that's different than someone blatantly lying. It really, it, it really irks a nerve within me that you feel like you couldn't tell me the truth about something and my issue is not so much as that you couldn't tell me the truth about something my issue is you're doing something you do something that is not agreeable with me instead of not doing what is not agreeable with me you rather lie about it instead of not doing it you're not hold on you mm. going into uh, mommy mode nigga you going into mommy <laughs> mode stop we see because because we're we're talking about the morality. For example, okay. I started off talking about my aunt with people Sorry, that no, practice no, my aunt and my people. At that point, hold Thank on, you for me. hold on, because I want to be clear. I'm talking about when it comes to us in our circle, in our tribe, where we share a common morality. I am supposed to stand on that morality, but I would be a fool to stand on that same morality over a people. I mean, with a people who have shown me historically that they give less than two fucks about me. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, cause it- You the next quote I gave Cleve. <laughs> I don't know which one I gotta cause I gotta say I ain't speak to him. I just told I gave my instructions. <laughs> cause it sounds like I mean what you just said it sounds like a, a Malcolm X quote that I gave one of the brothers. I believe it was Clee. <laughs> but go ahead. She she went straight mommy on my ass. I go on finish, girl. But no, part of part of that though is she done hung up on me again. God damn it. What one act of who she is is as a mother and as a mother you know we would expect that to come out to some degree <laughs> <laughs> she was about to whip somebody's I mean, I'm just saying, ass. it's not even just with my kids i'm just like i just feel like so for example I... can you give me an example of somebody outside of your immediate family that owes you the truth no, Somebody outside not. your tribe that owes you the truth. No. I guess we only talk about in my tribe, but in my tribe ain't just my kids. Right, exactly. But I'm saying, can you can you speak to somebody outside of that that owes you the truth? Because I can give you no. a couple of examples. No, like, outside of my tribe that owes me the truth, um, you learn people, you learn people who they are. Like you meet people where they are. It's not a um what it's more it's more personal inside my tribe, right? Yes, it is. Well, excuse me, I mean, right, but it's more personal inside my tribe. I need for my children to always find a way to I mean, and, and my grandkids, tell me the truth. That way I know how to defend you if I need to. I know how to uh discipline you if I need to. But if if it's from a lie. You you know saying you'll have you have I don't know how to really explain it but and, yes inside and, my tribe I need the truth. Part of that is our fault because we don't have the stories to help somebody be able to wade through 
You know what I'm saying? Because I have been put in many situations where individuals in my tribe, mm -hmm. in my family, have told lies that shouldn't have been told. That that really like is is more than you hurt my feelings. Is you putting all of us in a fucked up situation, right. and right. now somebody yeah. gonna get hurt or somebody gonna die. You understand what I'm saying? We don't mm -hmm. tell the stories. We don't construct the stories to help because what what see what a lot of people think is that stories are just to put children to sleep. No, stories are the mechanisms in which we are able to get individuals knowledge and make sure that they are able to hold on to it. That's right. Period. If we was to take math and we was able to construct stories around it, our children would have no problems with equations. If we was to take stories and wrap our morality around it, whether they're dealing with us or whether they're dealing with the enemy, our children will have no problem with doing it. But we don't do it. We allow them to sit in front of the TV and get this bullshit that we all the same. And we are operating in this world that is that is out for the best for everybody. When you and I know that that is some bullshit. Excuse <laughs> my you know what I'm saying? It's for their benefit. So we'll have individuals that will tell the truth to a group of people. Like, for example, I seen a movie yesterday. My mom was watching the movie. It's a movie called... Texas Red. Texas Red, right before World War II, supposedly it's a true story, was a dude that lived in, his name is Texas Red, but he lived in Mississippi. He lived in a place called <laughs> Free Woods. And in Free Woods, he owned a juke joint where white folks could come, black folks could come, natives could come, everybody was the same. And he allowed them to come. Some in a in a in a neighboring town, some white people didn't like him. So they crept up on his house, knocked on the door, and he greeted them with gunfire. And the first thing they said is, Red, we just want to talk to you. And he responded <laughs> to them. <laughs> how, how you think he responded to him, Miss Tracy? Gunfire, he already responded. He already exactly. Responded. See, and our children don't understand. We don't understand that because we all here. We all the same. And we and, and we think that morality is something that is a... We connect our spirituality to our morality so that when I have to tell an untruth, I feel bad about it. When I have to cover for my cousin, I feel bad about it. Because I'm covering for my cousin for this system that I know is going to use my cousin's body to further throw my community into a hole. Now, if my cousin's out here doing some fuck shit, then of course we have to deal with that, but we don't have mechanisms for that at this point in time. Um, but hold on, let me read this comment. I think it's Brother Joe. He's still laughing about the mommy mode, uh, Miss Tracy. <laughs> He said, I don't know, sometimes you tell a family member the truth and some of them can't handle the truth. Be careful on that. And, and what I'm saying, and now, so now, this is why the tribe structure is important for us right now. Because for some of us, some family, now, and also go back to what Kwame say. Just because you related to me does not mean that you're worthy of the truth. Now, Miss Tracy has demonstrated to me through her mothering and through her participation with us as a group, that she is worthy of the truth. You understand what I'm saying? And we got to make sure that our children and that our members understand this, right? Because it's like the slightest lie could come back and destroy us in such a way in a world, especially in a world and a reality that we don't control. I done had kids do dirt come back and lie and damn near damn near two or three people is taken away from us see that's <clears throat> that's an example of chaos theory see a person thinks that they tell a little lie and they have no idea of what the ramifications of that lie might be particularly as it reflects on the tribe the family etc The 
question is asked, oh, what's the what's the worst that can happen? Right. What's the worst that can happen? Right. And they think they got it all figured out. Right. But <laughs> but again, the trick of chaos theory is that because you don't have the initial conditions. There is no model in the world you can come up with to predict exactly what the fallout is going to be. Mm. 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 You know, but like I said, where's the story for that? Where's the stories for that? Where's the movies for that from us? You understand? Because that's a very simple concept and I'm quite sure that if I was to go through my Aesop fables, I could find one. But enough of us are not looking at those ancient stories or looking at those ain't those proverbs that crystallize wisdom that our ancestors have left us so that we could go on and build. Um, Miss Tracy is going to be stepping off in a second. She has to go and it is okay. Easter. Um, but before she go, let's talk about because we could talk about this a little bit more on the next show. I don't know when the next show is. I'm going to leave this to Miss Tracy because this is her. You know, this is her suggestion or her thing. For those that don't know, this is Tribe Talk. And those of you that want to join, like Mr. Joe Barry, if you want to join, brother, all you got to do is let me know. All right? And like I said, I could go on and, and put you in after we get the initial conversation. What should we talk about on the next show? Um, I thought we was going to Agnes Wilson. Are we not doing that anymore? No, I do our Amos Wilson, but also we still have the book, the parables. We got the parables we got to yeah. discuss too. Yeah, the parables. So, um, I mean, we we can discuss a lot more on this, but we sure I mean, could. But the, whatever whatever you decide is cool with me. This is Tracy's I, project. I, I, I had on one it. more comment. I had one more comment about the morality piece. Go on, throw it in because I mean it, it, it's uh, good. Well, again, it's one of the things I took exception with uh, with. Uh, brother krs was saying this notion of taking the 10 commandments out of schools and stuff now <laughs> these people had the 10 commandments for over 400 500 years and they still been acting a fool <laughs> so it wasn't no damn 10 commandments taken out of the school if anything it's a sense of how to so his conclusion that the idea or he stated it as a conclusion i don't know if he really feels this way but that taking the ten commandments out of school led to more crime or that's how it comes across not considering the matter that given that there's a lot more people <laughs> by the time the ticket commandments were taken out of schools a lot more people were going to end up committing crime if nothing more because of the recessions and all that kind of stuff going on too but anyway anyways just to say that uh the, this notion that uh Ten Commandments being removed from school and, and that kind of stuff. I think it, it really goes back to what Sister Tracy was saying or alluding to in the idea that if we're not practicing this kind of stuff at home, or to borrow somebody else's phrase, if I control the images put before you, I don't give two dams who makes the laws? I yield. Mm. So, Miss Tracy, which direction are we going with this? What's going on? Holler at the brother. Holler at the brother. I just want to know where we will be posting that because we'll know by Kuzi Chakalia what we'll be talking about on uh, Imani. All right. It don't have to be. Now, listen, I don't want y'all to fall into the high Tim trap. I keep on trying to, I keep trying to coach y'all against it. Right? Because, you know, like I said, you know, it don't have to be every week. But um, we could just set, we could talk, we're going to talk about what we're going to, we're going to talk about when we're going to do it on the Kuji Chagalia mindset. 
what we need yeah. what what i want to throw up now is necessarily what is it that we wanted all right so we know amos wilson is up in there we know the continuing and, um octavia butler she's another one octavia butler um for those that don't know part of giami part of the giami culture right now is octavia butler even though she had a strange strange type of distant love affair with white boys that's my opinion but anyway she did an excellent job on the parable series and we're looking at the parable series for everybody over 16 years old in Giami journey so that you can kind of get your mind ready for what possibly could be coming because that is a very 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 prophetic i mean i i felt that book but anyway um, so like I said, so we'll, we'll let you know and we'll throw out a flyer to let people know so that y'all can join us for the conversation. Um, we won't belabor this anymore because we know some of y'all got, you got the Easter dinners to go to. Some, some of my babies is about to go out and, and do the pagan ritual of searching for the eggs. And I got to go out and burn some sage to, <laughs> to make yeah. sure that I could turn it. I'm going to use the magic of Giami to turn it to something cultural. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we have to start learning how to do too. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're about to say something. No. Um, I guess my last statement would just be that uh, many of us are afraid of dying. Who? It, ignorance is analogous to dying. Mm. In other words, ignorance is analogous to death. Wait a minute. We have a, we have a tribal quote that says, immortality is the inheritance of the partakers, partakers of, of great, great wisdom. wisdom. What is That's it? Right. Is it great wisdom? Immortality is the inheritance of the partakers of great wisdom. Ah! Wait a minute, wait a so minute. Let me... if, if you want to live forever, get with a tribe that's on the upswing. Damn. He... Hip hop. And two block. Here we go. Look, here we go. African openness to the tree of life, right? African openness to the tree of life. That's one of the books that he's been quoting throughout here. And also we have a workbook, African deep thought workbook that is based on African openness to the tree of life that you go and journal, journal in. You also have the Nguza Saba Challenge, Self Mastery Journal, where you can work on going through the Nguza Saba like we do here at Giami Journey to start getting your life together. Come on, family. We got to start working and getting these getting ourselves together so that we can build. Last but not least, we have uh, a seven week course coming up. And I'm gonna read a little bit and I'm gonna let Miss Miss Tracy talk a little bit more because she's gonna be taking the lead on this one. Um, we're proud to announce the launch of our new Nguza Saba Challenge training program. We have been working hard over here to bring forth the revolutionary training program learn everything we know about building a successful tribe as well as learn how to be part of part of one ground yourself with daily rituals learn the importance of ceremonies find out about the five parts of your being and how to align them and plug into ancestral knowledge become a tribe builder and work your way through the giami initiation process and become a more powerful warrior a more focused nation builder or an enlightened elder develop a relationship with our culture and learn to embrace and live in Guza Saba and join us in conquering first ourselves and then the world. The next session will begin on May 30th, which will bring us right back. And I think this this that will be the fourth Imani of this year. Reserve your spot because they are going fast. Um, click the link for more. Go to freegnjecourse.com and get on our email list so that you will know when we're mailing it out. Um, these sessions could come with personal uh, coaching or of course it's going to be group coaching but it's going to be personal coaching and also um, those who are not willing to sacrifice will not be fulfilled this is the model of Giamma so um, Miss Trace you got something you want to add before we roll up out of here see you on the challenge one love uh, Joe said I need to let my kids know that rabbits don't lay eggs if they don't know that by now, I am a total failure as a father. That's all I'm going to say. I hope they know that already. But anyway, we are out, family. We are gone. And thank you for your time. And I want to thank my guests. First off, we got the Black Yoda, also known as 
as Brother Kwame. He's Brother Kwame, also known as the Black Yoda, as well as Master Poe. That's Poe, not poor. That's Master Poe. <laughs> and we not also like have... We said, this Poe. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have um, Miss Tracy, right? Um, and we want to thank both of you uh, for wanting to... Um, I mean, for... I mean, Miss Tracy, I want to thank you for, for making this happen. Uh, I think this could be a, a pretty good show. We just have to get the uh, the situation together for the sound and all that. The parameters in, intact. Yeah, all that. The borders. <laughs> and we want to send shots out to Brother Joe. Joe say he in. He want to do the Nguza Saba Challenge. You know, and oh, okay, yes. Oh yeah. So I, I'm I'm creating I'm creating a flyer, and we got I mean because we're gonna really really push this thing, because like I said, we need we need at least ten people. You know what I'm saying? And I think the max that we could do possibly will be thirty. So um, that's the max so that we can give people the quality that um, they deserve. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I am out, and we will see you later. Peace. What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pod? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a try. Pray.